you have a quote that I would love to read it, but just going off the top of my head, you said something to the effect of God didn't bring me this far for me to leave him out. And if I got that right. You did your homework. Yeah, like I think that that is such a freaking dope quote because it goes to everything that you're saying, right? Boldness, right. bringing him into the conversation where you can. Right. I think that that's something, because we live in a world where everything, especially the word of God is challenged. Everything is challenged. We live in cancel culture and even before cancel culture as we know it has come into play, they were taking anything related to God out of the schools. Um, you know, it was almost a sin to, to, you know, going into the workplace and mention it. So, so now just hearing you speak, I think that it's great uh, to understand your psyche of being bold and you shouldn't want to, or you should want to lift Christ's name wherever you can without the fear of repercussion. So I think that that's so great on your part. Oh, well, thank you. But in that quote, like I said, man, you did your homework. Um, I was actually another brother who's very successful. I won't mention his name, but very successful, uh, was writing a book or he was doing his, you know, it was going to be his, his book about his life. And he was interviewing writers to write his book. And it was myself and a couple other guys he interviewed. And uh, he was a man of faith and we were talking about it. And um, that's where I first said that. I don't even remember what exactly his question was or maybe he asked me about me speaking out or being bold about my faith. But I said, God didn't bring me where I'm at, lift me up to where I'm at to leave him out. Like, I firmly believe the Bible says the steps of a man are ordered by the Lord. It says every hair of our head is numbered. Like, God is intricately involved in every step of our life. And so I firmly believe God has promoted me to the New York Times, to ESPN, to Fox Sports. Like, he's lifted me up to be here. And so he ain't lifting me up here to now all of a sudden act like I don't know him. And we know, I mean, how many stories do we hear about uh, uh, an entertainer or, an, or somebody who started singing in the church, right? And then they go to the world and, and they leave God out. And I'm not saying everybody has to sing gospel. I mean, I like R&B and, and secular music too, but it can't, sometimes you go overboard. <laughs> you go too far away from your faith and your life can become a mess. And we've seen it happen time and time again. And so uh, I think we need to be cognizant that when we get our promotions in life, we have to remember not to leave God out. You know, like he's blessed us with these things and we shouldn't, you know, forget about him when we get them. Well said, absolutely. Amen to that. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.